Hello everyone! In today's video I wanted to share with you some of my simple and effective techniques to speed up the color grading process in DaVinci Resolve 18. This is our before and after and I'm hoping that you're gonna like this one. So let's start! And this is our clip for today. I got it from Artgrid. You can find a link to this website below this video. And my clip as usual is shot in lock. So my first step would be to convert it to Rec. 709 so it matches the timeline. But let's minimize this view and let me show you my note tree. It's a very simple note tree and it contains the steps. I take most of the time while grading. So first we have two primary notes, balance and exposure, as this is how we prepare the shot for more advanced adjustments. Then I've got two layer notes and this is how I like to isolate the skin so then I can create a look quickly without affecting my well-balanced previously skin tones. I was explaining a few times in my other tutorials how the layer notes work but to remind you the layer note at the bottom will be prioritized over the note above it which means that if I isolate the skin on that note all changes I'll make above it won't affect the skin. Right, so I will find it to be a very quick solution for creating the looks. Then I've got two notes where I'll be using power windows to manipulate the lighting in the shot a bit. And I also think that almost every shot needs a bit of additional lighting manipulation. So I will show you how to do it as well. And then as usual at the very end I've got my color transform note. So let's start from converting our clip to Rec. 709. So I'll go here to the effects and I'll drop a color space transform onto my last node. I will choose the right settings for my clip. And this is before and after. Now let's move to the exposure node as this is always the first step you should take. And I like using primary wheels to adjust my exposure. So looking at the scopes, making sure I'm within the right range, I will push my gain up lift down and gamma down as well and then I also like to add a bit of contrast like this and this is before and after. Now we will be balancing the shot and I find it very helpful and quick to look at the vector scope while doing this and the rule is that this trace should be in the middle then the shot is well balanced. Here we can see that the shot is rather on the warmer side, so let's move to the balance node and I like to use the offset to move the trace around and to balance the shot. So let's move it towards blue and teal a bit, like this, and this is before and after. Now we can move to the secondary correction and in the case where we have people in the shot, this is how I like to work, so I like to isolate the skin first because if we won't do it, look what happens when we try to create a look. The whole shot will shift and our perfectly balanced skin tones will be gone as well. So let's click on the skin node then. Let's get a qualifier from here and let's qualify the skin. Then I have to turn my highlight on to see the selection. And then I'm going to use my hue and luminance sliders to improve it and to select only the skin. Okay, then I will blur the selection and I will denoise it like this. And let's turn the highlight off. Then let's click on the look node and let's create something here. So I will use my gamma wheel and look what happens when we change the tint of the shot quite dramatically. The skin tones stay as they were before, which is great, but let's reset it and let's create something more subtle. So I'll just add a tiny bit of the blue to the shot, like this. And this is before and after. Looks great to me. And now I'll move to the node I've labeled as lighting. And here we will try to bring more attention to the protagonist, as this is what most of the clips always need. And we will use some relighting techniques to do so. So first I'll grab a power window from here, the ellipse, and I'll place it over the face of the model, something like this. 
Then I will go to the qualifier again and I want to grab only the brightest parts of the face. So let's turn the highlight on again and let's improve the selection with the sliders. Then let's denoise it. All right, and then I'll go to the wheels again and I can actually use the highlight slider to add a bit more highlights on the face. So let's push the highlights up here. Just a bit, of course. And this is before and after. So the face looks more sculpted now. And then my last step would be adding a vignette to bring even more attention to the protagonist. So I'll click on my note. Then I'll grab the ellipse again and I will place it over the subject. Then I will soften it a lot. And then I will reverse it so this way we'll be modifying the outside of the ellipse, not the inside. And then let's go to maybe curves. And let's drag the white curve down a bit to decrease shadows around the model. Like this. And this is before and after. And now let's just see the final result full screen. Thanks so much for watching my videos guys. I hope that you like them. If you do, hit subscribe and feel free to leave a comment below. See you soon.